All right. So the number one question that everyone asks a professional real estate agent is always, is this a safe place to live? And you're here today because you're asking that question. And maybe you're considering relocating to Tampa. Maybe you're from the surrounding area. Maybe you're coming in on vacation. However it is you got to that question in your mind, um, I'm going to help you today answer that question for yourself. Most importantly, I'm going to show you how and where to go find that information so you can make an informed decision um, on whether that relocation, investing, whatever it is you're thinking about doing in Tampa Bay, Florida is the right decision for you. Now, I want to start this by saying that I'm a licensed real estate professional, and this is one of the questions that legally I cannot answer to anyone when they ask me it, which is very, it, it can be a challenge because, of course, when you're moving to an area or you're, you're, you're vacationing or whatever it is, for whatever the reason, you want to know to make sure you, you're not putting yourselves in harm away. That's, that's completely normal as, as a human being. And I think that, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, asking that question. But on the real estate side, it can be a challenge because um, there's a term called steering. And if you were my client and you came to me and said, Juan, um, you know, I really want to live in a neighborhood that's really safe for my family, um, you know, and will you show me where that is? Well, if I take you based upon my own opinion, right, and say that this neighborhood is safe and I put you in that, that neighborhood and maybe you purchase a home or, you know, you, you take a vacation there or whatever it is, um, and you have a bad experience First and foremost, that puts me in a liability situation, and that's not where I want to be, and that's not where you were trying, why you were asking the questions to begin with. Um, but more importantly, it, it, what it can do is, you know, if if I was an unscrupulous human being, I could point you towards certain areas and point other people away from those areas. Um, if I thought someone you know, was going to drag the area down, or if I thought that they were a criminal, like I could tell them, you know, don't live here. And that's what steering is about. And there's a reason why they ask us not to answer those questions. But what I will say is this, that's a valuable question, and you should ask it of yourself. Okay. Um, you can't ask a real estate professional to answer that for you. And if they do answer it for you, guys, that's illegal. And if they're doing illegal stuff up front, what are they doing when they're working for you? Make sure you ask that question. But what I want to do today is I want to jump in and show you where you can find that data, how to look at the data, how to, how to, how to, how to read it, so to speak. And then you can make a really informed decision on whether you think your relocation or your move to Tampa is a good idea, um, where you would like to be based upon what you're seeing, and you can make an informed decision for yourself. Now, what I will say is having said all that, I am going to share my opinion about what I do with my with my family, where I'm comfortable going, um, but in no way, shape or form. Am I telling you that these areas are good or bad? That's not what this is about. Um, do your own research, uh, but I will point out what I've experienced. OK, um, and I think that's the best way we can handle this today to make sure that everything is on track. No one feels um, that we're that we're leading somebody one way or the other. And ultimately, so you can make a good decision, guys. Like, I don't need to sit around and give you a bunch of lip service. You came here to find out, is Tampa safe? And in today's video, we are going to answer that question. <laughs> Juan Alcala with the True Living Group here in Tampa, Florida. And if this is your first time to the channel, we make videos all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to play here, what it's like to work here, the outdoors, the dining, the beaches, and the sunshine. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on that little bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video just like this. We're getting calls from people all over the country who are considering relocating, investing, or moving to the Tampa Bay area. They're calling us, emailing us, texting us. Heck, they're even direct messaging us through Facebook and Instagram. 
Um, I just had a couple reach out, uh, it, you know, from Germany, they're going to relocate. That was pretty exciting. Uh, but they're considering and they're wanting to know how do we make that move? And they're looking for that local help. So however you got to get hold of us, whether it's DM, text message, Instagram, Facebook, snail mail, phone calls, it doesn't matter when it comes to moving to Tampa Bay, we've got your back. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into my three favorite websites that I love to use when I'm assessing any new area. These are the same websites that I used when my family was relocating from Detroit to Tampa Bay um, in, the, in the fall of 2018. Um, they were extremely helpful. It allowed me to really digest what's going on in the area in terms of economy, in terms of crime rates in terms of uh, real estate evaluations, they were awesome resources for me and my family to say, okay, does this look like an area we'd like to invest some time and potentially make a move to? If that's the case, I think we should really kind of dig in here. And um, these sites are very, very informative. Now, some of them have reviews. And the one thing I'll say about reviews is we all know how that goes, right? Somebody can have a bad day, have, have a bad experience, and all of a sudden they're a keyboard cowboy. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. You know, what I'm looking for is the consistencies when I'm looking at information like this. I think that's super helpful. If I start to see a pattern um, when I'm looking at reviews now, you know, that's probably, that's a pretty trusted source. You know, I can look at that and say, okay, five people have said the same thing here um, and taken the time to say the same thing here. This is probably something I need to be uh, looking out for, or that's awesome. It's validating, you know, my thought process behind what it looks like, number one. Um, another site is uh, the Great School site because this is a very common question that we get all the time too about hey how are the schools well again just like the you know is the the area safe i can't answer the question or any other real estate professional cannot answer whether these are good schools or not because it's completely subjective y'all um, now there are rankings and i'm going to give you the sites to kind of give you a, an idea of what that looks like you know because if school's a rated it's a rated for a reason go look at the site it'll tell you how they came to those ratings sometimes there's a lot of fluff in there, but I think the sites that we use here are, are pretty informative and, and will help you make an educated decision. Uh, but again, if we tell somebody it's a good school or bad school, we could be steering them so we don't say that. But I always point people back to these sites so they can make their own informed decision. So that's the second site. And the third site is this awesome site. It comes directly from the Tampa government and it ranks uh, gives you all kinds of access about crime. It tells you, you know, have there been, uh, 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 you know, misdemeanors, you know, B&E, uh, any serious, you know, um, you know, violent crimes. It gives you access to all that and shows it on a heat map. It's really cool. So if you're thinking about a specific neighborhood or a specific city, this thing is awesome and actually works for the entire country. So it's a really useful resource. When I have clients who are relocating, I always tell them, hey, look where you're currently at and then measure it versus this. How do you feel where you're at there? If that's helpful and you go, okay, well, this is very similar to what I'm living in currently, then you know, like, you could have a better idea of what you're looking at and how to absorb that information, so to speak. So I'm excited. I'm going to take you guys behind the hood. And this is how we operate when we're trying to help our clients make informed decisions. We, again, I'm never going to tell somebody a neighborhood's safe. I'm never going to tell them, you know, the schools are good. I'm never going to tell them that this is a neighborhood um, you know, that's great for a certain religion. I'm never going to tell them it's great for a neighbor, a great neighborhood for, um, you know, a certain race. And I can't speak to, you know, a, a familial status, right? If it's a family or a single individual or, um, you know, somebody who, who who's um, LB, LGBTQ, right? Um, and, uh, and so I can't say those things as a real estate professional. Keep that in mind, guys. Those are the five questions that a real estate professional can I answer. So if they are answering them directly, again, that's, it's illegal. They, they could lose their license or be fined. And again, most importantly, if some someone who knows that is, is going to answer those questions, I would be greatly concerned about how they're going to handle your transaction because the last thing you want to do is end up in court, right? Don't nobody want to be there. So we're going to deep dive. We're going to pull right in um, into these websites and I'm going to walk you guys through them here. So let's jump right in. All right, y'all. So we're going to jump right into this and I want to share with you guys my 
three favorite websites when it comes to looking at neighborhood data. Uh, these are all public resources. Um, they grab information from all over the internet, come back, compile them, and that's how they give these rankings. Uh, but this is gonna give you the, you know, the most accurate data, um, in my opinion, on uh, current crime rates. It's gonna give you the uh, great neighborhood information in terms of like how they rank it in scores. And then another one's gonna talk about schools. And I know we're talking about safety today and not necessarily schools, but it's like, you know, when it comes to the number one question that I get asked when someone's relocating to the Tampa area, you know, it's, hey, you know, is this place safe? And then the follow up question, which is 1A, is always what are the schools like? Um, and, you know, if, if you're single or you don't have children, that's not it may not be as important to you, but it gets asked a ton. So I just figured I'd include it in here as well um, to make life a lot easier for you guys. And we're starting with my favorite website out of all of the three, because you can get all of this information all aggregated in this one spot for you uh, and a nice little bow. Um, which is wonderful uh, and make your life super simple. So if you don't wanna go to all three of these sites, you can just go to this one. And if that's all you need to make an informed decision, then then so be it. Uh, but I again, I wanted to talk about, a, I'm not allowed to tell you whether an area is safe or not. No real estate professional is allowed to. We're not allowed to talk about schools, familial status, race or religion, just so you guys know. Um, and again, if somebody's gonna answer those questions, guys, ask questions because that person knows that that's not legal. And if they're answering that, what are they doing when it comes to contract time, man? It, you better take some serious consideration to that. All right. So let's get into this. Um, I typed in, you know, best neighborhoods to live in Tampa, uh, and it gives us a great breakdown. And what I want to do is kind of show you guys on the left hand side here in this column um, where it talks about what it is. You can view these cities on the map. Um, it gives you the public school grade and you can hover over and, and look at exactly what information they're using, right? Test scores, college readiness, graduation stats, uh, SATs, ACT scores, teacher quality, whatever that means, as well as reviews from students and parents. And that's what Niche does really well is it pulls in review from people who live in the area or know of the area um, and it gives you that information as well. But as you go along the left side here, you can see cost of living. So it'll show you that um, who lives here, the walkability, uh, crime and safety grade, which is exactly what you're asking for. Again, calculated based upon rates uh, for murder, assault, rape, burglary, and other crime. And those, though none of those words are nice, but they have to include them so you understand where they're pulling that information from and how they come to those determinations. Uh, what type of homes are in the area? Home ownership. Uh, you know, is it conservative? Is it liberal? It'll give you some of those insights. I don't know how they come to that information. Look it up. I, again, I can't tell you one way or the other whether whether it is one of those types of areas, but things to do in the area, right? I care a lot about bars and restaurants. You know, this is a great site. And I want to go back up to the top here. And we're just going to start at the first one. I didn't pick these. This is what uh, niche.com says that is, is the number one neighborhood to live in Tampa Bay. Um, and they're saying it's Hyde Park. And again, so you, now you come in here and you can really see it start to, to niche down. So the overall grade that niche is giving it is A plus, And that's determined by these factors, public schools, housing, good families, jobs, cost of living, outdoor activity, crime and safety, nightlife, diversity, weather, health and fitness and commute. And I'm not going to read all these things to y'all, but you can come in here, you can get some information. It tells you the population currently, the real estate median values, um, the, the median rent, the ownership versus uh, renters in the areas. Um, you can see on the map exactly where the location is. And we'll pop that up for y'all real quick. So we'll bust into a full screen so you guys can get some perspective on where High Park is. Um, if you look at Tampa as a whole, which is this is perfect. Uh, so we're just going to take this little drawing tool right now. And then I'm going to draw this out for you guys. So oh, let me back that out. Let's kill this thing. And then we'll jump in here with the marker. So this is downtown Tampa, y'all, right here. This area right here. This is where all the magic happens. This is the financial district. Down on this end is where MLA Arena is, where the uh, Tampa Bay Rays play, where they have concerts. All of this is walkable downtown. It's pretty darn cool. Shops, restaurants, bars, nightlifes, uh, places to work, high rises, everything is there for perspective. Tampa General Hospital is right here in this area here. Again, Hyde Park is, is highlighted there. Um, 
And one of the things I want to show you on this on this map is, you know, people will ask me, Juan, is this a safe place to live? Well, again, again, I can't tell you that, but I can share my personal perspective, right? And my personal experience, more importantly. Um, you know, I've been in Tampa. We moved down here um, in December of 2018, and I use these exact tools when when me and my wife were looking. Hey, is this a safe spot? Is this some place we want to be? We looked at so much information, but you know, I wanted to share this with y'all because. You know, if if the professionals can't answer it for you, you most people want to get this stuff figured out before they ever make a decision. So I wanted to give you the tools and resources to help you to be able to do that. I think this is a great place for it. Um, and I want to point out some areas of Tampa that I think could be of interest to you. Um, you know, when we're looking at this map as a whole, uh, I want to back this out just a little bit and kind of talk about what's going on here, um, you know, as a whole. So when you look at Tampa, um, and, and what's going on here, we're going to pull this up. This is, I want to make a point because people will ask about it. Ybor City, which is a very cool old part of Tampa, man. This is where, you know, the cigar bars are and you've got streets lined with sandwich shops and, and uh, bars and restaurants. And it's a really cool place. And um, dare I might say, this is the party district of Tampa. Um, and this is one of those areas that, you know, you take a look at, look at the information you know, say, hey, would this work for me or not? Me and my family have gone down there. We eat down there. We have we have lunch. We've had dinner. I've never had an issue. That's all I'm going to say about this, y'all, because, um, you know, people will ask, like, I've heard this, I heard that. But again, go do your own research. And I'm going to show you exactly where to do that. Um, but I have had no problems anywhere in Tampa in almost three years. OK, we have taking our family. My wife and I go to Tampa all the time. We go to Tampa Heights up here and I'll show you where that's at right here. Um, we go to Tampa Heights. We go to Ybor City. Um, we go to these great areas where they have this wonderful dining and a, and a vibrant nightlife to go and get away and have a date night for the two of us. It's awesome. So if, if that's something that interests you, um, you know, but I don't hang out anywhere until two o'clock in the morning. So I don't know what's going on after that. I can't give you guys perspective. I think if you look at, you know, you start looking at crime rates, I think that's where you find most of this stuff happens. Um, just like anywhere else in America. You know, that stuff is pretty common. But again, downtown, this is the financial district down here. You've got the uh, um, the arena. Tampa Heights is where uh, Armature Works is, which is a huge uh, indoor facility with tons of restaurants underneath the, the roof, so to speak. Um, it, during the holidays last year, they were doing... Um, a drive-in movie theater. We took the kids to see Elf, um, you know, at night. It was, we've never had a problem. I've, coming from Metro Detroit, I think Tampa has been an incredibly refreshing area to move to. And I love Detroit. I'm not bagging on it, y'all, but you know, you know, if you read statistics or if you've seen this stuff in the past, you know that um, it can be a challenge. There's been some rough spots. And I will say this. There were areas in Detroit where you would go and people would literally tell you to your face, you don't belong here. And you knew you didn't belong there and you had to leave. I've never experienced that in Tampa. And I'm not saying it doesn't exist. OK, so come in here, look at this information, do your own homework. But it has been a wonderful experience for us so far. So I wanted to share that with y'all um, as we get as we get going here. Again, niche.com. What an excellent site. I'll show you again. Uh, breaks down, you know, you've got all these rankings. Now, how to find out if if any area is safe. This is my favorite, one of my all-time favorite sites. If you go to tampa.gov, okay, and then you come down here and you hit crime statistics in your area. Now, this is going to take us to a, a much larger website that has a national database, as you just saw how it starts to pull up there, then it's going to pull us down into Tampa. And what I love about this website is it, it allows you to break down by date range event, meaning what type of uh, uh, um, crime was committed, offenders. It, I mean, you can get nitty gritty. Y'all, I didn't need to get this deep. That's not where I live. Um, but some people that, I, you know, I know for sure I've had clients in the past that are really focused on this. Um, and I love this tool because I think one of the best ways to, to, to take in consideration of, is this a smart move for me and for me, um, you know, or am, what I consider investing in the Tampa Bay is take a look at where you currently live. OK, pull this map up, go over here and type in, you know, anywhere USA. Um, 
let's just say, uh, you know, I'm, well, I won't type it in. But type in anywhere USA where you are currently now and look at the map and then come back and look at the, either the specific house you were considering investing in or, or relocating to and then make a comparison that way. I think that's a great way because a lot of the times when I talk to people who are considering making a move, they say, hey, we live in one of the safest areas in the world um, or in America. It's awesome. And then we pull up this map and this map shows real life things that happen. And then all of a sudden they're like, I had no idea. And the reason you didn't is because, you know, if someone breaks into a car, typically you don't hear a whole lot about that unless you lived in, you know, in, in that specific neighborhood or on a street, because it's not common practice, right? Obviously, if you get into more violent crimes, that shows those, it shows up everywhere. That's going to be on the evening news. Um, but when you look at this and, and put it into perspective, you know, versus what you currently reside in or live in or what you know, then I think that's a great way to say, oh, this is pretty similar to where we live now. You know, do I feel comfortable? Am I comfortable? Or do I need to get in a place that's quote unquote safer, whatever that means? Um, I think this is a great tool. It'll allow you, like, here's an example. Um, we'll come in here and grab a date range. Let me move this out of the way. Let's go back all the way to January 1 of 2021. Because that's a get a full, you know, we're gonna get ten months of data here, and then let's get down to Hyde Park because that was where we started, um, you know, and you can kind of see what's going on here. And I love this site because it's really cool the way it works. It shows you what type of crime was uh, was committed in in by using an icon, which is really really neat. So if you come in here, and again, we're in Hyde Park in Tampa, you know, and you hover over this little icon, it'll say motor vehicle theft. If you ho hover over the, the money bag, it says theft. If you th hover over the little house, it says burglary residential. Now, what that means was somebody stealing a bike outside. Did someone steal a garden gnome? That I don't know. You're going to have to dig deeper. And these are the things you have to take in consideration, y'all. Okay, there was arson here. Did someone light a garbage can on fire? Uh, <laughs> right? Or was a house burned to the ground? You know, if you click on that, it's going to give you some more information. I'm not going to go that far down the rabbit hole, but it shows you what type of crime is being committed. And, you know, everybody needs to look at this in, in their own light. But like when you see red, well, red is usually danger. Well, that's assault and aggravated. So was that a, a schoolyard fight between two high school boys or were somebody actually pressed charges or was that a serious offense where there was some, some bad stuff that happened? These This is a wonderful, wonderful resource because this is all public information, y'all. So this is where I would go. I would compare it versus where I'm currently at, give myself some perspective, um, and then really dig down the nitty gritty if that's important to you. So I wanted to share that with you guys. All right. And then the third one, which I know is not about safety, uh, but again, it's 1A in terms of questions that I personally get asked. You know, they ask, you know, is the area safe and how are the schools? I can't answer those questions. No real estate professional can, but we can uh, point you towards resources. And I love this resource because this is a site called greatschools.org. And again, what they do is they pull in information, um, based upon all the things you saw over niche.com plus plus a couple more. And then they rate schools based upon that information. It'll show you the um, the location of the school. Here's the address, what type of school it is, how many students are in the school, which is even cooler, I think. And then also you can click on homes for sale that are in that specific school, that are attached to that specific school. And a lot of the times when people are asking about schools, that's really what they're asking. Like, hey, I wanna be in this district because my, my kids wanna go to this school. Well, the district's one thing, but there might be two or three elementary schools in that one district. And, you know, you might buy a house that doesn't attach to that school. So if that's super important to you, do that. So I hope this helped everyone. Again, my three favorite sites here are niche.com, which we're going to take you back to here. Take you to the uh, niche.com. That's that's this guy here. Um, Tampa.gov, which will take you to uh, LexisNexis, which is a data aggregator. So we'll go back to Tampa.gov. Um, and then Tampa Schools, which is, again, so greatschools.org. And we're going to link all of these below. And also, if you're interested, we did do a, a top 10 neighborhoods to live in um, uh, Tampa specifically. So if that's something that interests you, we're going to link that down below too. And it, it's going to follow this line of, of, of ranked uh, neighborhoods, which I think you'll find very useful. Um, so hope that helps everyone. Y'all go out, have a great day. All right, y'all. So I hope that was super helpful. 
for you to be able to make a decision on whether you think Tampa is a safe city to move, invest, relocate, vacation, whatever it is, however you got here today, I hope this really and truly helps you make an informed decision. And always, if you have any questions, you'd like to go deeper on topics like this, or you'd like a specific video about something you had in mind, please feel free to put that in the comments below. That's exactly how we go out and film these videos is we're listening to our audience. We wanna know what they want to see what information they need to make an informed decision before making that move to Tampa. And hey, remember, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell because every time a new video drops, you'll get it just like this. And it also helps other people just like you find us and get those questions answered as well. And in, again, you can get through us through phone call, text message, email, DM on Instagram, however you got to get hold of us when it comes to buying, selling, relocating, or investing in Tampa Bay here at the True Living Group, we've got your back. And as always, go out and live that Tampa life.